Have you ever wondered which way is the best to transfer your skateboard when biking? I've definitely thought of that. And today I'm gonna be going over most of the ways that people transport their skateboards on their bikes. And I'm gonna attempt to see if I can find the best possible method. Without further ado, let's get into this video, man. The closest thing to just being you on the bike is literally just mounting your board on the frame of the bike itself. You know, you can just pretty much jam it on the frame if the frame of the bike is thin enough and your trucks are loose enough, obviously. Um, have a couple homies that do this. One of them started to have a problem though when he does this, like his pants started to rip on the back and it's just super annoying, you know, because he has to fucking sew them. Like it's not, almost not even possible for him to sew them. Like he needs to get a fucking patch on those. So that sucks. It may just be because his frame is pretty high up in comparison to where he sits on the bike. So I'm pretty sure his pants scrape his axle or something like that. And then they, they end up making a hole. If it wasn't for that, but I feel like this is a pretty awesome method if you're trying to transport your board on your bike and you don't want to literally carry it. The next option is if you have a platform on the front part of your bike. It's super easy to carry your bike on there. Problem with that though is, you know, if you don't have like some sort of elastic, the boards are going to be kind of loose up there. And it's going to be tilting and maybe it'll fall down. Oh! 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 <laughs> So I, like every time I've tried this method, you know, I'd have to put stuff on top of my board and then like tie it down with an elastic band or whatever. But that seems to work better for me. But yeah, another awesome method. The third one would be to mount your board on the baggage carrier on the back of your bike. This is one of my personal favorites. Uh, cause I just, you know, it's just so easy to do it on the back, you know, especially if you're trying to put shit on the front part of your bike and, uh, you don't want to have your board mess some of that shit up. It's just super easy to put your board there. Problem with this though, is that if you're biking in the rain and shit, and like, I guess it stopped raining, but the ground's still wet, it can potentially get your board wet, which kind of sucks. Keep that in mind if you're, if you're trying to do that, but definitely one of my favorite methods to carry your board on the bike. I guess we've moved on to backpacks. Obviously there's the, the regular skate backpack where you pretty much just put your board on the backpack and bike around with it like that. That's super convenient. Although if you have stuff in your backpack, it start to feel heavy when you're biking. Plus, you know, if your backpack's empty, all you have is your board on the backpack. I don't know, it just feels kind of weird and like your board just flaps around a little bit. Like sometimes it'll hit you in the back, in the back of your head sometimes even as well, I've experienced. But that method definitely also has its cons. Nonetheless, like it's cool if you have the possibility to mount your board on, on your backpack. It could also be annoying, you know, if you're not trying to bring a backpack on the session, you just want to bring your board, maybe a bottle of water. That's where something like this comes in handy, you know? Have your board, got your strap, put that over your shoulder, boards on your back. Just overall, super easy to bring your board on the set. The thing is though, if you're trying to bring a couple things here and there, there's not that much room to do that in this. A little bit of room up here. It sucks that you can't get these anymore. They're super convenient. If you're just trying to bring your board on the set. We also have to go through, you know, if you have a regular ass backpack, which doesn't have skate straps on it, just carry your board the traditional way, you know? And between your back and the backpack itself. I do that all the time if I'm traveling and I use my backpack because it's small enough for me to bring on planes without any trouble because I can bring my skate bag as well, uh, which you guys have seen in previous videos that I've made. That option is definitely worse than having a, a, a bag with the skate straps. The board sort of hurts your back when it's, you know, between your back itself and the backpack because it's just uncomfortable, you know. There's also like a pretty improvised method that I've seen a couple times, you know, it's, they take a shoelace and they, I, I think they like pretty much tie it in between like the, the hole in your trucks and pretty much just carry the board sort of like this, but the other way around. Oh! <laughs> but what the hell, but <laughs> That's a cool method uh, to carry your board with. Although, you know, if, if the graphics against your shirt and let's say you're wearing a white t-shirt, that could definitely fuck up your white t-shirt, which you're not really trying to have that, you know, so that, that would suck. There's so many different ways to carry your board on your bicycle. And I'd say the best one for me personally would definitely be 
on the rear baggage carrier. I'm just not trying to hold my board. I don't want to feel the extra weight if I'm biking a long ways to a, to a spot or whatever. Other than that, I definitely say it depends on what bike you have. Obviously the bike I have here doesn't have a baggage carrier, so I'm just using the bag there, which is nice. But yeah, it definitely depends on which bike you have. If you have like a, a front platform or something like that, you know, some people have a box in front of their bike, you know, and you pretty much just latch your board in between there. That definitely works fine. Let me know in the comments which ways you guys prefer to transport your boards on your bikes. Without further ado, I hope you get your skate on during the week and uh, I'll see you guys next Friday and peace. This guy's sick as fuck, he needed an ambulance. He's <laughs> calling an ambulance. We take care, man, we take care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a great job. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, we do. I'm just gonna buy you. <laughs>